Hey everybody, welcome back to the ninth episode of Prefectures of Japan, the series where we look into each of the 47 prefectures and what makes them unique. Last time we looked at the colorful and artistic prefecture of Ibaraki, and today we'll be looking at the prefecture of Tochigi. <laughs> Tochigi is a part of the Japanese island of Honshu. It's in the Kanto region, and it's located right here between Fukushima, Gumba, and Ibaraki. The flag of Tochigi consists of a pea-green background with a white stylized version of the kanji character Tochi in the middle, representing energetic progress and action. This kanji is the Tochi part of Tochigi, and it means Japanese horse chestnut, which is a beautiful tree native only to Japan. The seeds of this tree were traditionally eaten by the Jomon people of Japan after parboiling the toxins out, and today they're used to make tochi mochi, which sounds so cute that I have to eat it one day. It has a population of 1,943,886. The economy relies heavily on industrial manufacturing, which accounts for about 37% of the prefecture's total output. This includes things like car parts and accessories, vehicles, radios, televisions, pharmaceuticals, and wireless communication equipment. Kiyohara Industrial Complex is located in this prefecture and it's one of the largest industrial complexes in Japan. Agriculture has its place in this prefecture as well, providing strawberries, Chinese chives, and Japanese pears to Japan and other countries. Around 55% of Tochigi is covered with forest and mushrooms like shiitake mushrooms make up half of the foresting industry. Tomizaku Fukuda is the governor of Tochigi. Tomizaku was first elected governor in 2004 and has held the title ever since, making his re-election in 2020 the start of his fifth term. According to his governor profile, his motto is Senyu Kodaku, which means hardship now, pleasure later. His hobby is hiking, and his favorite food is rice with miso soup, pickle. Despite his age, Fukuda-san is still active and recently visited a high school in Tochigi for a Let's Talk with the Governor event for their Prefectural Spirit Week. He discussed what it's like being a governor and other various topics with the students. I think that's pretty cool. Utsunomiya is the capital of this prefecture, known for the Utsunomiya Castle, whose reconstruction has been called one of the most realistic reworkings of a traditional Japanese castle. Oyadera, a Buddhist temple featuring stunning carvings on a cliff face, and its 200 plus gyoza restaurants? I know what prefecture I'm taking Bethany and Sydney to. The northern region of this prefecture is mountainous and it's also a popular tourist region in Japan. The Nasu district in Tochigi is popular for its onsens, local sake, and ski resorts, and it's also home to an imperial via which is basically a vacation home or a separately owned home of the imperial family in Japan, meaning the emperor and his family. I guess now is a good time to explain a little bit about the emperor in Japan and what his position is. At the end of World War II, the US had control of Japan, and instead of removing the current emperor at the time, Hirohito, Douglas MacArthur wrote Japan's constitution to diminish any political powers that he had. As it states, the emperor is the symbol of the state and the unity of the people. This decision was made despite the emperor kind of being considered a war criminal because of the love, loyalty, and respect that the Japanese people had for the emperor. After this photo was taken and shared in newspapers across Japan, it essentially solidified the fact that Japan had to accept military occupation from the US. So as it lies, the emperor is the head of the state, but he doesn't have any political powers. His duties are largely ceremonial, which includes things like greeting foreign people of importance and attending cultural and public events. Now, continuing with Tochigi, Nikko is a city in the northwest of this prefecture, which is famous for its 103 religious structures, which collectively make up a UNESCO World Heritage Site called the Shrines and Temples of Nikko. The national park they're located in is considered one of the most beautiful in Japan, and it's popular with tourists. The two most popular of these religious buildings include the Nikko Toshogu, a Shinto shrine which makes up 42 of the 103 structures, and Rinnoji, a Buddhist temple which is considered an important base for Tendai monks. Keigon Falls is also a popular spot in this national park. The falls were formed when the Daya River was rerouted by lava flows, and it's beautiful every season of the year. 
reaching all of the places within the park is an experience as well. The Cedar Avenue of Nicole is a collection of roads lined with 13,000 cryptomeria trees. These roads were created during the Edo period as the main highways for daimyo and samurai to travel to Edo. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the Cedar Avenue of Niki is the longest tree-lined avenue in the world. The entire trip to the national park and reaching it sounds like an adventure all on its own. A more modern attraction in Tochigi is the Twin Ring Motegi Racetrack. Its name comes from the course having two racetracks, one oval and one road course. It was built in 1997 by Honda to inspire IndyCar series in Japan, which consists of open wheel racing. Twin Ring also hosts many other racing events, including Formula One and motorcycle races, as well as festivals and firework events. Mashiko is a city in Tochigi popular for its pottery called Mashikoyaki. This pottery dates back to the Jomon and the Yayui periods. Traditionally, it's simple and rustic in style, but modern pottery made today consists of many different styles. This town is very welcoming to newcomers and invites everyone to enjoy making pottery. Twice a year, they host a craft festival where townspeople set up stalls and display their creations. A couple of traditional events in this prefecture are the Toshogu Spring and Fall Festivals. These festivals worship the founder and first shogun of the Tokugawa shogunate, Tokugawa Ieyasu. The 1000 Samurai Procession is a march that reenacts the relocation of Ieyasu's remains from Mount Kuno to Nikko. After the procession, horseback archery takes place and individuals dress in samurai armor. There are no food stands, music, or entertainment here, as each ceremony is for religious purposes. The Shiobara Onsen Village is located in a valley in the northern mountains of Tochigi. Its proximity to Tokyo, diversity of baths, and high elevation make it a popular urban escape. The Hoki River that runs through the valley is beautiful to walk along, and there are around 100 waterfalls in the area. Bridges can be found throughout the valley and provide a great way to take in the views. Another popular onsen location is Kinugawa Onsen near Nikko. Ryokan private baths, public baths, and ashiyu or foot baths are available, with many visitors choosing to stay in a ryokan overlooking the Kinugawa River. In the same area as this onsen location, there's a super cool cultural Japanese theme park called Edo Wonderland. This park resurrects and showcases the life and culture of the Edo period. The design is based on the Edo period's golden era known as Gendoku. There's a wide variety of Edo period architecture, including samurai houses and government buildings. The staff is dressed in Edo period attire and speak and behave like Edo era citizens from lower, middle, and upper classes. There are seven theaters in the park that put on ninja action plays and oidan shows, as well as live outdoor shows, street performances, parades, festivals, and special events. There are also ninja workshops, Japanese traditional archery instruction, and shuriken, or ninja star throwing. Edo period food is served throughout the park, and you can even dress up as an Edo period character at the costume house and then walk around to see how you're treated by the actors depending on who you're dressed up as. It sounds absolutely incredible. The only thing I think I can compare it to in America, or Texas at least, is at Six Flags they have those western shootout shows in the park, but this is like cultural experience and fun on a whole new level. The climate in Tochigi is classified as warm and temperate, with the average annual temperature at 13.9 Celsius or 57 Fahrenheit. There is a significant amount of rainfall year-round, with precipitation even during the driest month. The famous dishes from this prefecture include Kampyo, the dried shavings of a gourd called kalabash, which are usually used in sushi rolls and traditional Edo-style Japanese cuisine. Sano ramen, a local ramen which is typically made by pressing the dough for the noodles with a bamboo pole and cutting them by hand, though machines sometimes make it as well. Utsunomiya gyoza, one of the most famous gyoza names in Japan, and strawberries, of course. The Tohoku Shinkansen and the JR Utsunomiya line are the main railways running north and south in Tochigi. The Shinkansen runs from Tokyo Station to Oyama in South Tochigi in about 43 minutes. Utsunomiya can be reached by rail in as little as 48 minutes, and many parts of Tochigi are within commuting range of central Tokyo. To the east and west, the Mito and Ryomo lines connect Tochigi to Ibaraki and Gunma. Fukushima Airport is about an hour drive from Utsunomiya on the Tohoku Expressway. 
International and national air transportation is through Narita Airport to the east of Tokyo. The interesting fact I chose to talk about for this prefecture is the Cannabis Museum in Nasu. It was founded by Junichi Takayasu, who was inspired to cultivate hemp by the books he read as a child, where ninjas trained by jumping over cannabis plants. The museum opened in 2001 and focuses on the history of cannabis in Japan, especially in Tochigi, where 90% of Japan's commercial hemp is cultivated. Agriculture technology, preservation of hemp, and public education on practical uses of hemp are displayed. While cannabis is illegal in Japan for personal and medicinal use, the museum seeks to raise awareness of the benefits of hemp and the differences between hemp and marijuana. Hemp weaving in an interactive exhibit on hemp textiles where visitors can compare the softness of hemp to other fabrics is a main attraction. Tours of Tochigi's hemp farms are also offered here. These are the things that I found interesting about the prefecture of Tochigi. Honestly, there seems to be a lot of weird and fun experiences in this prefecture, and I want to try them all. Let me know what your favorite attraction or location was in the comments below. That is all for now, but I will catch you next time where we'll look at a road that sings songs from Spirited Away.